All right. Hi. The animators are here. All right. Look out. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having us. Are we, what are we, Jonas, give us a little of that ham bone, will you? <laughs> no. Do we, uh, oh, answer questions? Yeah, I see questions. Thank oh, you. There we Thank go. you. Thank you. You know, this movie is really different from other animated films. It's actually a pretty deep topic about, you know, exploring human emotions. Um, why making a film about emotions? It's something that's so invisible, it's so hard to see. How do you make it like approachable and actually tangible for audience like kids and mm -hmm. adults? I think the first thing that attracted us to it was the fun and the comedy of emotions as characters. These guys could be strong, opinionated, you know, louder than real life. That just seemed like what animation does best, kind of like, you know, we all reference the seven dwarfs who are like these turned up characters. But as we got into the subject, we realized, man, this has some real depth to it. You know, emotions are really at the heart of all of our, the things that most matter most to us, which is our relationships with each other. So it ended up having some real uh, guts to be able to talk about. And, and our challenge on the thing was really to make it understandable, the incredible complexity of the mind distilled down so that five-year-olds could get it, and that it would fit into an 80-minute movie. So that was not easy. <laughs> it's a lot of trial and error. I mean, we wrote nine versions of the movie that you'll never see that we would course correct and change and alter and rewrite and uh, ultimately landing on the film that, that we did make. Thank um, you. I have a question over here. Um, yes, sir. So Stallone mentioned his imaginary friend, Rocky Balboa. Do you feel that was a nod <laughs> to you That's all? Awesome. Your... We heard that too. I, thought that, that was, I guess it's just proof that every, but whether it's a character you play or, 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 or in this case an imaginary friend, everybody has something like that that they've thought about, either as a kid That's great. or as an adult. So uh, I heard that too and my ears went up. I don't know. You have to ask him. Let yeah. us know. Uh, but it was very nice. It was. Hi guys, congratulations. Are you planning anything or is there anything in the works in terms of spin-offs or sequels to this film? It's obviously got a lot going for it. Not yet. So far, I mean, our philosophy at Pixar has always been let's find something that's really worth talking about rather than just doing it because it's popular or people like it or whatever. So, you know, we'll, we'll put some thought into it. But uh, so far, Jonas and I are excited to work on a, a new project, which we've been pitching already. Yeah. Um, and uh, so we, we did do a little short film that's about oh, yeah. Riley when her dad, it's more about her dad when the boy comes and knocks on the door. So it's almost like a, it's called Riley's first date. And the poor dad has to, we see what happens in his head. But, uh, we don't know if we're brave enough to make a movie about a 12-year-old girl's head. Yeah, that's, that's scary. Hi, gentlemen. Chris, uh, GMA Philippines. We, uh, fortunately, Ronnie Del Carmen couldn't be here tonight, right. co-director, but he's Filipino, and obviously the Philippines are going crazy right now that they won. Yeah. Uh, what do you want to say to the Filipinos that are just excited that they had representation here at the Globes and uh, won tonight? Yeah. We're just excited that we get to work with Ronnie, who's a great storyteller, and I think if he were here, he would... He would uh, challenge everyone in the Philippines to tell your story because I think that's a story that needs to be told and will enrich the rest of the world. So Yeah, and I want to say to the people of the Philippines, thank you for making Ronnie Del Carmen. Yeah. Because of Ronnie Del Carmen, we you know we've had a lot of great time. So he's an amazing artist and an integral part of our team and the whole team at Pixar. Okay. Anybody need any questions answered or advice for Pete? <laughs> thank you guys so much. Thank you. We're thrilled. <laughs>